My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Glamour here with Made with Love by Glamour. Welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we're going to be making an edging stitch and it's called Fan and Filet Edging and it's really pretty. Um, I showed y'all a little sample of it in the previous um, video that I made and so this is what we're going to be making. Pretty, huh? It looks like a flower and stems. <laughs> All right, so before we get started, let's get the nail polish color out of the way. It's by Pure Ice and it's called First Time. So that's the color in case y'all are interested. And uh, what we're going to be needing is color A. We're going to make it in two colors. And so this is color A, color B, and a crochet hook. I'm using 3.50 millimeter. Okay, and the yarn, um, you can use worsted weight yarn if you want. Um, you don't have to use this thin of a yarn. Um, this is just what I have handy right now because I've been working on something else using these two colors. But you can use worsted weight yarn, especially if you're making a project and you're going to put this edging on that project. You want to use the same yarn that you're using on your project. But this is Burnett Cotton-ish, it says. And this is Deborah Norville's collection, Serenity Sock Weight. And I probably shouldn't be using this one because it's hard to it's hard to work with that because I always end up leaving threads behind. You'll you'll see. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and get your supplies ready. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a slip knot. Okay, and now we're going to um, make a chain in multiples of six and if you're already making a project to put if you've already made the project to put this edging on then you'll want to measure the chain on what on whatever part of the project that you're wanting to put this on um, in multiples of six and then at the end we're going to add four stitches so make it as long as you need it for your project or just do what I'm doing and just make a practice swatch right now and then maybe you can make your um, actual edging for your project Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just continue that way till you've got the number of uh, chains that you need. I'm going to make three more sets of six and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have four sets of six. I have 24 chain stitches and now I'm going to add my four extra. One, two, three and four and now we're going to make double crochets and we're going to make our first double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so one two three right into there okay let's make a double crochet right into the fourth chain from the hook my little chihuahua is drinking water you can probably hear that okay and now we're going to chain two one two and now we're going to skip two chains and double crochet into that third one okay chain two one and two and once again we're going to skip two chains one two go into that third one These little threads are hard to get through. Okay, one, two, and then skip two. One, two, and then go into the third one. And we're just gonna continue this way till we get to the end, because I don't know how long you're making yours. Um, I will meet you back when I am close to the end of mine, okay? So don't forget, chain two, skip two chains, and then double crochet into the next one. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm getting close to the end, and I just chained my two, and now I'm going to skip two 
bases one two and double crochet into the third one and now I'm going to chain two was that a good dinner there Paris licking your lips <laughs> after your dinner okay so I'm going to skip to one two and go into the last one okay go through two and then stop right here because we're going to do our color change before we finish off that double crochet okay okay so since we're done with the green i went ahead and cut it right there i left a little tail and i've got my other color for my color change i'm going to leave a tail as well and i'm just going to hook it yarn it over or hook it over my hook and now i'm going to pull through those last two to finish off that double crochet and now let's tie the pink tail with that green tail that we just cut to secure it okay there's that little pink tail and there's the green one and now just make a little square knot okay okay so now that we tied our little square knot back there so our little tails don't get away from us <laughs> um, we're going to chain three one two and three and turn our work around and now we're going to double crochet eight times into that same space where this double crochet is okay so we're going so that double crochet from the previous row we're going to go right into the top of that stitch with eight double crochets into that space there's one two Three, oh, four, five, uh oh, did I leave a thread? Nope. Six. And seven. And finally eight okay so we want to have nine in there so that chain three that we made earlier that is counting as a double crochet okay so now um, we're going to um, yarn over and we're going to skip that double crochet post and we're going to go into the top of the next one and we're going to put nine double crochets into there okay eight and finally nine okay so that is the pattern um we're just going to yarn over and we're going to skip that double crochet post and we're going to put nine double crochets into that space and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to skip that one and we're going to put nine into that one and i'll meet you back here when i'm about right there okay so go ahead and do that and uh, isn't it pretty though? I love this stitch. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay, so I just finished putting nine double crochets into that stitch and now we're going to skip a double crochet post and we're going to go into the very last one. Um, and you'll notice that it looks like there's two posts there and that's because that was the chain. Remember we... Uh, finished our chain chained four and then we put our double crochet into that fourth stitch well that's what that is that's the chain so I'm going to put my um, nine double crochets right here um, 
on top of that double crochet so it looks like it's kind of in between the two so that's what I'm going to do so let's put nine in there Where was I? Seven or eight? Now I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this will be eight. You guys are noisy. You're licking your lips. Did you just eat dinner? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. That's how you make the fan and fillet edge. And it'll look really pretty on anything you put it on. Pillows. Um, bottom of dress hems, um, sleeves, um, whatever, anything you want to put it on. And so to finish this off, you would just chain one, cut your yarn, and then pull this through. And uh, there you go. That's what it is. <laughs> it's very pretty. I really love this stitch. Alright guys, thank you so much for visiting me here again at Made with Love by Glamo, where everything here is always made and taught by me with love. Don't forget to join me next Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday at Glamaz. Alrighty guys, bye! Thank, Thank you, you for watching, watching our Glamaz channel!